President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. Today, the chamber will hear the testimony of a witness named Ning Uy. And uh, the, the defense counsel will uh, put questioning to this witness today. Greffier, uh, Ms. Saikobati, could you report the attendance of the party and individual to today's proceeding? Greffier, Mr. President, for today's proceeding, Monsieur all parties to this case are present. As for Nguyen Chia, he is present in the holding cell downstairs as he requests to waive his right to be present in the courtroom. His waiver has been delivered to the greffier. The witness who is to testify today, that is Niang confirmed uh, they, the, this witness and his uh, duty counsel is are present today in the courtroom, and the reserve witness today is uh, 2 TCW 948. To the best of the knowledge, this witness has no relationship by blood or by law to any of the two accused, Nguyen Chia or Kyu Sung Pong, nor to any the, of the civil party ad admitted in this case. This uh, reserviness has taken an oath already, and uh, the reserviness will have uh, duty counsel with him as well. That is uh, Mr. Moon Sabun. President, thank you, Ms. Sakolvati. The Chamber now decides on the request by Nguyen Chia. The Chamber has received a waiver from Nguyen Chia dated 11 March 2015. He confirms that due to his poor con health condition, that is, headache, back pain, and that he cannot sit for long, and in order to effectively participate in the future proceeding, he requests to waive his right to participate in and be present at the 11 March 2015 hearing. He has been informed by his counsel about the consequence of this waiver, that it in no way it can be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly or to challenge evidence presented or admitted to this court at any time during this trial. Having seen the medical report by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC, dated 11 March 2015, who knows that the health condition of Nguyen Chia is that he has severe back pain when he sits for long and recommends that the chamber shall grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from a holding cell downstairs based on the above mentioned and pursuant to Rule 81.5 of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nguyen Chia request to follow the proceeding remotely from a holding cell downstairs via an audio visual means for today's proceeding as he waves his direct presence in the courtroom. The AV unit is instructed to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nguyen Chia can participate in and follow today's proceeding remotely. The chamber now gives the floor to the defense counsel for the accused so that they have they can Des put accusés. questions to Afin this witness. First, so you may proceed témoin. now, counsel for Mr. Nguyen Chia. Um, good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. Good morning, counsel. Um, Mr. President, before my national colleague will start asking questions, um, I would like to seek your confirmation that um, we have the equivalent of the prosecution's time, that means uh, five sessions. So in principle, I think we could go uh, until the next day. However, I anticipate that we uh, have questions only until the end of the day. But I would like to make sure that this is indeed uh, the time allotted to us. The two defense counsel for the accused 
We'll have full day today plus uh, one session tomorrow. Thank you very much, Mr. President. However, we, will, we shall seek to strive to be finishing uh, at the end of the day. Thank you. 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 Before I uh, put the question to this witness, Monsieur I would like to submit a request. Madame et Messieurs les juges, avant que je ne passe à l'interrogatoire, j'aimerais présenter une requête. Before the chamber, I, am I allowed to do so? Ai-je le droit de le faire? President, you le may proceed. Ma défense. Counsel, uh, yesterday, Hier. we observed that uh, Judge Lawen put questions que to this witness. A posé des questions à ce témoin. Perhaps uh, he, put, he used uh, almost a half day Et to put questions to this witness. Près demi and I observed that uh, Judge Lawen was playing an, a role as a prosecutor yesterday. President, you are not entitled to Vous pas le droit criticize uh, the bench. Les juges. And I decided already that uh, it is now Et time for que your le questioning était to this witness. Pour vous de questionner le and as uh, we comply with the Cambodian law and procedure, we have divided time for parties to put questions to this witness. We have uh, proceeded our hearing effectively, and we allow time for parties to put questions, and the bench can put any put questions at any time uh, that they may be able to do so. You are not allowed to criticize the bench. Vous pas le droit de I refer you to the uh, procedure and also Cambodian Je vous law. À la and et au droit cambodgien en if uh, you are not sure, you can also uh, refer us. If, you can also refer us to any particular law which, uh, are, si which you are allowed to criticize the bench. Counsel, thank you. Uh, uh, Mr. President, actually, I would like uh, to refer to the uh, laws and procedure. And uh, you interrupt me, President. I would like to know whether now you want to si put a oui question to this witness or you want to criticize the bench. Actually, you are not allowed to criticize the bench. Council, so I may proceed with the questioning right. of this witness. We will file an appeal uh, to the Supreme Court Chamber at a later stage. President, you can do so. Council, Mr. Witness, I have a few questions Monsieur for you today. Yesterday, you informed the Chamber that You were Hier, appointed as, a, as, as an assistant in Trumkot district. Trump in addition, you were assigned Entre. to be in charge of Leibo commune. De vous occuper de la commune de Leibo. And besides all these tasks and assignments, were you designated to do other jobs or to any other vous position? Nommé à une quelconque autre Fonction. Witness. I was not appointed to be in charge of the Lebo commune, pas donné la but as I said, de I Je pas lived été nommé pour in any area opposite Lebo cooperative. And besides that, uh, I was not appointed or assigned any other roles. Cela, je aucun autre rôle, aucune autre fonction. Council, thank you very much. La défense. Je vous remercie. Before you became an assistant in the district. Avant de devenir assistant dans le district. What were your specific roles and tasks? Quelles étaient vos tâches et vos rôles spécifiques? 
answer. As for my specific task before that, I was assigned to build dams and to dig canals and to work in the field. So I uh, did not have any specific task. As I said, I was assigned to work in the field, in the uh, water pumping station, and also I was assigned to dig canals and build dams and dikes. Also. So, which uh, communes and villages exactly were you assigned to work? Où vous a-t-on demandé de travailler exactement Dans quel village et quelle commune Answer. First, I went to work in a Réponse. canal construction site at Slaku. D'abord, c'était à Slaku. And the canal was dug to canaux. the east of the uh, pagoda. De la pagode. And the canal reached Le canal Kpo. Tiré Kpo. And in addition to that, Outre I was cela, assigned to the canal at Malek. On m'a demandé de and to un canal construct à the uh, gates to keep waters. And I was Une assigned uh, to build a dike and the canal 68. This canal reached Angtasam. And uh, I was assigned to dig canals, uh, oh and this canal reached uh, Slaku. Demandé, comme je le disais, de travailler sur l'ouvrage du canal. Uh, number three, Slaku. I was uh, tasked Et to enfin, work at the uh, water pumping station. De travailler à la station de pompage and de this uh, water pumping station. Uh, was in the north of uh, Takao provincial town and la, du chef -lieu de this water pumping station was to provide uh, water for Takao district. I, uh, met, I uh, was in the meeting with Tachai as an assistant. En tant que assistante au cours de réunion. The meeting held in the district office La in the current Muroka markets. Qui se trouve Council, là où se trouve thank you very le much. Uh, when you were assigned to work there, so who were they? Were you uh, where you were working with? Avec qui travailliez-vous à l'époque? Answer. The workers uh, at the uh, work site were female and males from uh, mobile le units. Site de travail, les travailleurs étaient des hommes et des femmes venus d'unités itinérantes. Where were they from? Mais d'où venaient-ils? Answer. They were from uh, different Réponse. communes. In, Dams, uh, in Tramcock district. Du district de Tramcock. Council. La défense. Were the mobile units were divided into a base of mobile units or new mobile units? Est-ce qu'il y avait des divisions entre les unités mobiles, par exemple, entre unités mobiles de base Answer. ou unités mobiles? Uh, mo they were not divided in réponse. different uh, Il avait pas de catégorisation uh, units. We lived and worked together. Nous Council, et what nous about ensemble. food conditions while you were working Qu there? Qu'en des rations alimentaires lorsque vous travaillez là-bas? Answer, as for réponse. food conditions, as we were part of the mobile unit, so we could have enough food to eat. Nous avions donc suffisamment à manger. Question. While they were working, and if uh, they fell sick, uh, how were the uh, treatment for the, those people who fell sick? Ou comment plutôt les personnes qui tombaient malades tandis qu'elles travaillaient étaient-elles traitées Answer. 
Hey, when a worker fell sick, actually, as I said, uh, there were medics stand by at our work site, and if uh, the and if the worker could not be treated si le uh, or could not recover from uh, the illness, then they would send to a maladie, clinic at Tropeancol. Council, I would Défense. like now to move to the another topic, that Je is the marriage. Les mariages. You mentioned already yesterday that uh, some couples, uh, they got married uh, voluntarily because they could choose their own partners. And you also mentioned that uh, some other couples were matched up by uh, the cadres there. So what did you mean by that? Les cadres. Qu que vous vouliez dire par là? Qu'est-ce que vous entendiez? Answer. As for couples who were matched, this means that uh, the commune decides uh, the Cela couple, que the couples of all, des uh, the people, meaning that uh, some uh, females were decided to uh, be in marriage uh, with other males. Council. As you said, uh, if uh, they were much, and then uh, what happened if they refused uh, the marriage? Donc c'était un mariage arrangé. Que se passait-il si ils refusaient de Answer. se marier? I never Réponse. encounter any issue that uh, the couples uh, deny the marriage uh, after they were much. Je couple renonce après avoir été mis ensemble à être Counsel, marié. thank you very much. While you were working there, uh, were there any marriage taking place at your mobile unit? Au sein de votre unité mobile? Answer. Réponse. Actually, there were marriage uh, ceremony in the mobile unit because, as I said, uh, members of uh, mobile units uh, consist of male and female. Mobile était tant des hommes que des femmes. Council, before the marriage ceremonies. La défense avant la, mar la cérémonie de mariage. Over the. Were the couple asked uh, in advance uh, before they uh, get married? À l'avance, s'ils voulaient bien se marier. Answer. Actually, uh, the head Réponse. of the mobile unit would seek opinion and idea from uh, those people who would uh, be married. Poser la question aux and after qui receiving marié, all le, the comments and opinion from avis, those people, opinions, the marriage would be held for them. Opinions, alors le mariage était Council, thank you very much. La défense, je vous remercie. I uh, proceed to another topic in relation to your sujet. position as an assistant in the district. You mentioned already that uh, you were in the meeting with uh, the district committee. I would like to know, during the meeting, were there any uh, principles laid out? Answer. I I find this question difficult to give my answer. The meeting in which I attended was to examine uh, the tasks that we performed previously. And in the meeting, uh, the plan would also be discussed uh, for future work. And uh, we would also discuss uh, how to dig how to duck the canal, how to Nous build dams and dikes. But there were no princ uh, main principles discussed in the, those meetings. Council, you also mentioned that 
there were three main tasks. Uh, that is the task concerning uh, economy, politics, and social work. And uh, while you were assigned to work as an assistant, were you in charge of all the three main tasks? Answer. I did not mention that the three main tasks of uh, politics, economy, and social work. I was assigned to work in, you know, in some other uh, areas, and I need I uh, had to comply with the work assignment. Council, thank you very much. During the time that uh, you were in the meeting in Tramka district, have you ever heard leaders of the district uh, decided that ethnic jam ethnicity needed to be smashed? Answer, I never heard any such uh, discussion. Réponse, Question. Question. Did you hear that other communes uh, spoke about this issue? Answer, no. Réponse, no. Question. What about the uh, Vietnamese? Did they hold any discussion about the Vietnamese at the best that they had to be smashed or what measures had to be taken against them? Answer, no. There was no such uh, distinction. Question. In the area that you worked in Tramcourt district, did you see any uh, Khmer Krom people there? Avez-vous vu des Khmer Krom? Answer. Réponse. No, I was not aware that if there was any Campuchia Krom people si living in Tramcourt district. Question. During those meetings, did you ever hear any instruction Donc about sending réunions. those Khmer Crown back to their uh, original place or that they had to be smashed or something of that ou nature? Visant à ce qu'ils soient écrasés ou quelque chose de ce de cet ordre? Answer. I never heard about any measures taken against the Khmer Crown. Je n'ai jamais entendu parler de mesures prises à l'encontre des Khmer Crown. Council, thank you, Mr. Vines. I don't have any further questions for you. And Merci, Mr. Mr. President, I'd like to see the floor to my international colleague. À mon confrère international. President, thank you. And Council Victor Coupe, do you have the floor? Coupé, vous avez la thank you, Mr. President. Um, good morning, Merci, Mr. Mr. Witness. Bonjour, I would like to start with asking you a question about my word that was discussed uh, yesterday. Pronunciation is correct. Hier, si uh, the Khmer word is bossam ot. Bossam ot. Uh, or in English, en sweeping anglais, clean. Nettoyer, um, proprement. You talked about that word in response to questions of uh, Judge Laverne. Um, and Laverne, following up on that sujet, discussion, I would like you to have a look at the statement which was also shown to you yesterday a few times. Um, that is statement E319 slash 12.3.2. Uh, more particularly at question A311. The question that the investigators um, are asking Les to the particular witness is the following, and I quote, et je cite cette question. when you talk about a term 
purge, sweep clean, you mean arrests, correct? And the witness answers in uh, 311, yes. Um, my question to you is to give a reaction to um, the answer of this witness who is saying that sweeping clean uh, apparently means to arrest. Um, did, did, did you see the... Je ne sais pas si... Not yet, okay. Non, I'll, vous n'avez pas encore euh, eu accès aux documents. It's um, E319 slash 12.3.2. It's the statement of the witness that we discussed yesterday. Les positions du témoin dont nous avons parlé hier. Well, I, I know that you have it there, um, so I would like to ask the duty council to show it to the que de permanence montre ce document au So again, uh, E. Je répète. Three one nine slash twelve e dot three dot two. Bar un deux point trois point deux. Well, the, the reason I'm asking him because I will be sh asking more questions about this statement, and I know for a fact that we had it yesterday. Um, Mr. President, could I ask um, le président, the court officer to hand a copy of the statement that I think he had yesterday? President, yes, Jimmy, please. Um, for the duty council, it is uh, question uh, three one one. It's on page fifty three on the bottom page, on the bottom of the page. Well, oh, no, that's English. Uh, it's A three one one. Réponse question réponse A trois cent onze. Um, so I'll just uh, do it again, if that's all right with you, Mr. Witness. So the question in A311 is uh, to the witness, when you talk about the term purge, sweep clean, you mean arrest, correct? And the answer is uh, yes. So my question to you is, can you give a reaction to Moi, this présent, specific answer of that witness. The word uh, to sweep clean or to purge Purger, in fact was asked by the co-prosecutor uh, 
the day before yesterday for the afternoon le procureur session. Le m'a déjà posé des questions sur ce sujet And avant if hier. If I recall it correctly, I sought a consultation with my si duty council. Vous vous bien, j'ai And in fact, yesterday avocat, morning, I responded to that question. So I already question. replied to that question. Donc, déjà cette question. I know you did, uh, Mr. Witness, but Votre I copie, am now confronting you fait. with possibly a different Mais là, uh, interpretation il pourrait s'agir d'une autre interprétation uh, in de Khmer. cette expression, de ces termes um, So I would like you to give your reaction to her Par answer conséquent, in relation to this, to this word. Par conséquent, j'aimerais que vous me disiez ce que vous pensez de cette réponse-ci. Le président, Mr. Witness, please Monsieur respond le témoin, to this question, répondre à cette question because of your uh, response and the statement made by another Votre witness réponse, uh, la par is un autre uh, not consistent or is not uh, in line together. Of course, we understand that you already responded or you provided your interpretation to the co-prosecutor question yesterday. Witness. The term to sweep clean or to purge, in uh, my personal understanding of it, it means uh, to kill or to execute. So, of course, it is different from this present statement. In this person's uh, statement, uh, she only mentioned that uh, the term means uh, the arrest. Um, I'm, I'm sure we will follow up with her on this word, um, Mr. Witness. Um, I'll continue my questions, uh, and my questions are now relating to uh, the document E3-493 uh, that was shown to you yesterday. <coughs> Again, I would like to ask um, the duty council to show this particular document to the witness. President. Yes, uh, in fact, you can do that. However, today, due to the technical glitch, the document cannot be protected on screen, so you have to rely on the hard copy paper. Nous devons nous appuyer uniquement sur les documents papier. Now, Mr. Witness, um, the little note um, that Copé. was discussed extensively yesterday, of which you say it was your handwriting, uh, seemed to be attached to some other documents, which are all contained in uh, this E3-493. So it would appear that uh, the widows uh, that you are referring to in your note um, seem to be the widows or the, that are referred to in the subsequent pages. Now my question to you is the following. Uh, do you know uh, what actually happened to the five widows, Moi, Ban Sokun, so Kiv, Kiv, the elder aunt of Tu, and Mao.
The five widows were reported, and I forwarded the report to Daron and Dabut, and they decided And they made their decision, and subsequently, Une I wrote down their decisions. Et moi, j'ai couché par écrit cette décision. As appeared on the document. Comme on le voit dans ce document. And I wrote it in this document. E3 slash 4093, dated the 7th August. Le 7 août. What I wrote down there was the decision made by Taron. Il s'agit là de la de décision de Taron, ne couchez pas écrit. It meant I did following the orders Tout of the upper echelon that is Taron. I understand, uh, Mr. Coppé, Witness, that was indeed uh, your answer yesterday. Ce que vous avez déjà dit My hier. question is, do you Mais know ma est la what in fact happened um, ce qu est to the widows? Were you veuves? in any way uh, an eyewitness to their alleged execution. Avez-vous vu de vos propres yeux si elles avaient éventuellement été exécutées? No, I did not witness that. Réponse: Non, je ne l'ai pas vu. Um, Mr. Witness, uh, there's another question that question. I have in relation Monsieur to this uh, document E3-493. Now, it would appear that your note is dated on the 7th of August. Vous avez, la date du 7 août. Um, however, it would appear that the underlying report that you are saying you have forwarded Mais Dates il semble que vous soyez appuyé sur un autre August rapport, 1978. un rapport daté du 8 août. Now my question is, do you remember anything about this, or would you be able to explain Alors vous how vous de cela, ou it would appear to be possible that you are forwarding a document si vous avez pu a day earlier? Un document un jour avant. President, Le Président, the international co prosecutor, you had the floor. Le international a la parole. No, no, I don't believe that that's a fair statement about the doc, the pages that follow in 4093, that that is the report that the witnesses 7th of August document is referring to. Nowhere in the 7th of August document does it say it's referring to a report, and in fact, the next pages, en fait, the 8th of August, says, I wish to clarify the report. So the document from Meng on the 8th of August Donc, le de Meng clearly is referring to an earlier report. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy the prosecution is testifying as to what he believes the content of both documents should be. But the question is, of course, to the witness who should be able, maybe there is an easy explanation as to the difference in those two dates. So I think um, I'm entitled to ask the question to this witness. President, yes, uh, you may proceed, Council. Poursuivez, Maître. 
Um, so again, Mr. Witness, um, maybe there is an explanation, but um, Il y a do you remember? Let me rephrase. Do, do you know how it's possible that the document that you appear to be forwarding is dated one day later than your note? The document dated the 7th August le document du 7 août and the other document et l'autre document dated 8 August daté du 8 août refer to, to uh, different documents sont deux documents différents renvoie à deux documents différents and could you expand on that how, how do you know nous en dire un peu plus s'il vous plaît Comment le savez-vous We are the, the difference témoin. is that the document dated 8 August Le document rather, du 8 août dated 7 August, août, bears my own signature, ma signature and I wrote uh, that uh, document. Moi qui and as for the uh, document dated 8 August, du 8 août, ou daté du 8 août, it was written by Meng. C'est Meng qui l'a écrit. So I uh, cannot recall it uh, clearly regarding the details of these two documents, but I can uh, confirm that the first document dated 7 August is uh, my uh, report of my note because it bears my own signature. signature. But, but just to be clear, uh, Mr. Mr. Witness, you're saying that clair, your témoin. note does not refer to the report ne of 8 August 1978 uh, 1978 made up by Meng. Is that correct? Qui aurait été rédigé par Meng. J'ai bien compris. I cannot say for sure because the témoin. second document was not mine. It bears Je another person's name. Car le deuxième document n'est pas mien. Il a été rédigé par une autre personne. Um, do you have, Mr. Witness, any recollection le as to what your practice was vous vous um, when dealing with reports de coming to you? Vous did you, in your recollection, add vous -vous uh, a little piece of si paper with your notes des notes, uh, to des bouts de papier, the underlying document? Avec vos notes au document principal. The small piece of note dated the 7 August Les petites notes datées du 7 août was written by me C'est moi and qui les ai I reported it, the matter to Tassaron and Tassaron made his decision and that's what I wrote in that note. Ce que écrit dans cette note. It was just a four lines note. C'est une note de quatre lignes seulement.
Um, maybe I, I missed something in your answer today or yesterday, Maître but Copé, um, the note is directed to beloved comrade Chun. Is that Par the same as Taran? The same person? Is that the same person as Taran, or is it someone else? I cannot find the name uh, Chun or Ron, as you pronounced. As unfortunately, Mr. Witness, I don't speak Khmer. I have to, deal, I have to read the English uh, translation. And the English translation of your note starts, starts with the word beloved. Comrade Chun. Do you see the same thing on your note? Est-ce que vous voyez la même chose sur vos notes à vous? Admin. No, there is no Comrade Chun in this document. Sur ce document. I found a name on this uh, document that is a camera tune. The camera tune. Just, just to avoid all uh, uh, misunderstandings. So, who was tune? Pour éviter tout malentendu, qui était tune? Chun held a position as chief of Tramcock District Office. Chef du bureau du district de Tramcock. But then, can you explain me? Question. Alors, pourriez-vous m'expliquer? How it came that you were requesting somebody on your level to do something with prisoners? Pourquoi vous avez demandé à quelqu'un de votre niveau? de s'occuper de prisonniers. I reported this matter to Brother Ron, and Brother Ron instructed me, instructed me to write down his decision, and that's what I wrote down. I understand, um, Mr. Witness, uh, but in the English translation of this document, it seems that you are requesting something um, rather than instructing. The first sentence reads, with regard to prisoners from Changtong commune, request to send any children. Uh, would you be able to explain why it is a request rather than an instruction? No, this does Réponse. not mean I made a request. Il ne s'agit pas d'une demande. Cela ne veut pas As dire que j'ai formulé une demande. What I wrote down was the instruction laid down by Taron. Je me suis contenté d'écrire de mettre par écrit les consignes données par Taron. 
So I, sh I should read this document Question. as Donc, not as a request to Bolov's comrade Chun, but as an instruction. Is that correct? June, mais il s'agit plutôt d'une consigne, d'une instruction qui lui est donnée. The decision made by Taron was what I wrote down. And it was not a request, it was an order to Comrade Chun for implementing Taron's decision. But I'm still not clear as to why it was you Mais je ne comprends toujours pas très bien pourquoi c'est vous Chun qui avez demandé à Chun um, clean de nettoyer the widows or, or les, children. de balayer les veuves et leurs enfants. I cannot uh, provide you any further explanation rather than what I have uh, explained to you. Because if I keep doing it, it means I keep repeating my responses. As I stated, I reported the matter to Taron, and whatever decision that Taron made, then I wrote it down. And if I were not to write down what Taron's instruction, it means I would risk my life. J'aurais été en danger. Ma fille aurait été en danger. Although I was related to uh, Tamok as his younger brother-in-law, uh, if I did not uh, obey or follow the instructions, cadet, it means I si would risk my life. Um, Mr. Witness, yesterday, you were shown uh, this document, and in answering questions of Judge Lavernier, you confirmed that this little note bears your signature and is indeed your handwriting. Uh, but you were also shown a number of documents which also has have your uh, name on it, but then you said that the name or the signature was not yours. Would you be able, without having another look at them, to tell us why this document that is in front of you bears indeed your signature and is your handwriting and the other five or six documents does not have your handwriting? ne porte pas ni votre écriture ni votre signature. Council, could you rephrase because the way you put it in English, you ask him to testify on why certain documents don't have his test, his his handwriting. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to actually show the documents to him of which he said yesterday, this is not my handwriting. But the question is, the question is, how does he know for sure that uh, E3409093 does bear his signature and does bear his handwriting and the other ones, but also his name? Uh, that's not his handwriting signature. So I want to find out how he is able to determine. So my question again, I'll, I'll try to phrase it more simple. Yesterday, you said that there were certain documents shown to you 
that did not bear your handwriting or your signature. Les documents que vous montrez, How can you tell for sure votre that E3-4093 does bear your signature and, and handwriting? Bien à votre et à votre qui vous cela? Because I recognize uh, my own handwriting. Parce que je sais reconnaître mon écriture. The document E3-2785 dated uh, 7 March with the signature of my name Sam. The handwriting in this document is not my handwriting. And the signature is also not my signature. That is exactly my understanding of your testimony yesterday, uh, Mr. Witness. But uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six other documents, also Trump Cock District Records, with your name on it and signature sometimes. And you're saying that these are also not your votre signature. Uh, this is also not your handwriting and signature. So the question is, Donc la question est la suivante. are you able to tell us why you are sure that 4093 is indeed your handwriting and with the other documents that, it, that it is not the case, that apparently it is another son? écriture et ce serait apparemment un autre san. I mentioned that clearly because, as I said, I could recognize my handwriting. Je sais reconnaître mon écriture. Um, fair enough, Mr. Witness. But then the question arises: Who is the other Maître son that has been signing alors, at Kémoin least six or seven documents qui est qui a signé uh, with six the name son? I did not know, as I said. It was not my handwriting. Uh, very well, Mr. Witness, we will, I would like to go back to the same document again for 093. Um, and more specifically, the sentence which in English reads as follows. Uh, but if children cannot be separated from their mothers, si les, bring them in for interrogation, si and after everything is finished, mère, to sweep them all clean. Également, tout simplement, une fois que sera terminé, um, I'm interested in the word, or the, the Khmer equivalent of the English word, if. Le terme en anglais, si Do you know whether, in fact, Khmer, children were located who could not be separated from these specific mothers. S'il n'était pas possible, savez-vous s'il était possible? De déterminer l'emplacement de ces enfants et déterminer leur mère? Answer. I find it Réponse. difficult to explain the word if here. Difficile d'expliquer le terme si ici. If uh, the children could not be separated from si on pas the mothers. Les enfants de leur mère, they, the children and the mothers should be brought in together and Alors, il les ensemble uh, et this was the decision tout made by Taron and I was asked to uh, write et from uh, his dictation. I understand uh, that was your answer indeed Mr. Witness but um, oui, you are a teacher, you have been a teacher for a long time. Um, 
Maybe it's different in Khmer, but if the English word says if something has to happen, then it doesn't necessarily happen. So my question, do you know whether children were indeed found who could not be separated from their mothers? Ainsi, ce que je voudrais savoir, c'est y a-t-il eu vraiment des enfants que l'on n'a pas réussi à décrocher de leur mère children so who could not be separated from their mothers, they were with their mothers. Ces enfants étaient avec leur mère, ceux que l'on n'arrivait pas à décrocher de But leur my mère. Question is, Maître Cope, do you oui, know ma question whether such children were in fact found. est de savoir si l'on a trouvé ces enfants ou pas. And uh, Vinesh, could you repeat your question, please? We're entering the, the grammar, um, the Khmer grammar versus the English grammar, so maybe I'm, I'm not formulating my questions well. Um, but your note reads that if children are to be found, if, my question, do you know whether in fact in this particular circumstance, such children were found. Si oui ou non, il y a eu des enfants qui n'arrivaient pas à se décrocher de leur mère. Answer. I do not really understand Réponse. the gist of the Je question. Pas de As question. I mentioned, uh, the, the children and dit, the mothers stayed together. Auprès de leur mère. That I understand in general. Mr. President, Mr. Maybe, maybe I, I look at you. Uh, maybe Je there is something vous, not going well in uh, the translation of my question. Um, my question is, question. as you la understand about the word if, um, if suggests if, anglais, that something si can happen français, or cannot happen. Ça so un maybe, Mr. President, you could ask the witness uh, if he knows that such children were in fact found. May I ask a question for clarification? Is your question whether he knows of cases where children well, Wait, uh, is this the question? No, not, because of, not of cases. I, I want to know, Maître this is a very specific order. Si uh, it's an order to say if you find children, kill them. So it seems. And I want to know if this specific case, he knows whether such children who could not be separated from their mothers were indeed found on and killed. President, I believe uh, you can answer, Mr. Witness. Uh, the Monsieur question Lieutenant, is clear. In the report, the children Dans le rapport, has to be separated from their mothers. If they cannot be separated, bring them in and sweep them clean. And the Khmer, the other. My version is very clear for all of us. And the children, if they cannot be separated from their mother, uh, they should be swept clean. So, based on what the substance of the report, so could you explain it? And so, after the decision made by the Ron, I wrote from the, de the 
dictation and the consequence. As for the consequence, I did not know what happened next. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Now I have another question about this same sentence. President, thank you very much, Council. It is now a convenient time for a break. The court will take a break from now until 10.30. Nous reprendrons l'audience à 10h30. Call officer, please uh, coordinate a proper place for pause, Mr. Witness and also for the duty council and invite them back to the courtroom before 10.30. The court is now adjourned. Oh.